we want to count the number of elements in a list. So let's so the basic form is going to be some accumulation. We're going to have to provide an op, so that's going to be a lambda. Now, remember it's always a lambda of two things. It's a lambda that's going to ex it's going to operate on that's supposed to be a v, the current value, and then I'm going to use p as the other parameter. P is the result of the prior accumulation. So all the work that's been done up until this point is collapsed into a single thing that's provided as the second parameter. That single thing might just be a number, like if we're adding up a list, it's going to be the sum up until this point. But that could be a whole list if we're like walking down and reconstructing a list. The thing that gets built up is a list. So it be some lambda expression, some type. Then there's going to be a base case, and then there'll be the list itself. What I actually want to get on the screen is the, I want to get this on the screen. All right, so we're, like, let's remember the, the way, yeah, <coughs> Jessica. Right, so she's jumping the answer. She, her, her, let me just paraphrase for you. She said, can't we just throw the V away if we're not going to use it? So part of this answer is like when you're counting the number of items in a list, you don't actually care what their value is. You just care that they're there. But you still have to receive them because it's still a lambda of two things. You're still going to be given that number even if you don't care what its value is. So you still need a lambda of two things. No, you don't have to use it. But you, let me, you guys are a little bit ahead of most of the class. So, like, let's say um, I'm going to call the, we're, we're, I'm going to unwind this with a particular list. Let's say the list is one, two, three. And um, I'm going to give it a base case of zero, which is the right answer in this case. And I want to show the way this recursion unfolds. What we're going to get is we're going to get op of one combined with op of two combined of op of three combined with zero. That's the, what the recursion does. Right? We saw that with the first problem today when we were dealing with plus. And op was re replaced with plus, and everybody was happy. We're like, sure, that's fine. We're going to add, we're going to add three and zero and get three. Then we're going to add 2 to it and get 5. Then we're going to add 1 and 5 and get 6, and we're done. But before those additions can happen, it looks more like this, where op is this procedure that we're putting in. So all right, that's the first thing we need to see. The second thing is the thing that Jessica was pointing at. If we just want to count things, what is op going to do? And pretty much, it throws away this number and then increments that number. Because this number in the second position represents the result of the prior accumulation. And it, when we first get started, we're going to give it a zero because that's the base case for counting a list of, of the length of a list. When, when the list is just getting started, it has no elements. All right, so maybe people see what op is now. So it's going to be, um, all right. I'm going to make it as a, oh, I'll call it op. Then we'll rewrite as a lambda. Um, so it's going to take a value that, that's, and a prior. And basically all it does is add one to prior. That's the whole, that's the whole procedure. It throws away the value and increments the prior value. So written as a lambda, it's a lambda of a value and a prior, and it's add one prior. That will do it. So if you imagine sticking this thing in to each of these ops, that's where it's going, right? 
Okay, so the first time it gets to actually do its thing, it receives a 3 and a 0, and it's like, I'm going to add 1 to the 0 and produce a 1. So now that, this, this produced a 1. And now op gets a 2 and a 1, and it throws away the 2, and adds 1 to the 1. And so that whole thing then produced a 2. And then the last time is it, it operates on 1 and 2, throws away the 1, adds 1 to the 2, and spits out a 3, and we're done. People believe that? OK, yeah, these are like, these are fun and tricky. Um, all right.